Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from the Violet Lightning, who wanted a Gerbera Tetra uh, round based on a uh, couple of specific pieces of fan art that uh, were sent along with the request. I don't know who did them, and because of that, I'm not going to link them here, because I just, I don't want to use somebody else's fan art or link to it without their permission, so... But what it is, is the Gerbera Tetra in a uh, bunny costume, as seen, you know, many places in pop culture, but also as an equipable item in Dragon Quest. If I thought I could have gotten to a, a bunny costume in one of the Dragon Quests I have, and named a character Gerbera just to start the uh, round that way, I would have done it, but that... Dragon Quest games are forever, that would have taken hours, so... I, I apologize there, but I, you know... Good idea, not one that was requested, but what just, you know, thought about it real hard and just decided, no, I better just do this. I'm pretty happy with how the uh, colors came out because they actually corresponded to locations on the Tetra better than I expected. Um, the, there's, uh, the kneecaps are uh, linked to the feet, I believe, which means that they uh, wound up, you know, darker than the rest of the legs, which doesn't quite work, but it's, you know... That's the worst of it, and I think that's pretty good considering what I was going for. I'm also kind of happy, I mean, the pr particular fan art did not have uh, fishnet stockings on the bu uh, bunny costume, but I managed to emulate that pretty well with the hex camo, so this one does. And, uh, creative license. And I am now chasing after the, uh, chasing after the, uh, full armor 7th Gundam, because that is my best target here. Uh, it looks like somebody just got that Gundam on the right, so... And I'm just going to finish that person off with uh, the beam machine gun. Now well, it looks like that Gundam on the right has not been gotten, but I'm going to bail out uh, somebody else here against, I believe, a Rigazi, which, you know, good target for me, if especially if I can land my shots. I like spot gun, you know, I like the, uh, I like the machine gun uh, feature on rifles like this, because if you just need to get in a couple of quick shots to uh, make a kill, it works fairly well, and except like it just didn't there because I uh, left the uh, Riga Z with a sliver of health and somebody else got the kill, but oh well. And right now I'm just kind of waiting, waiting for uh, somebody to get into my range, and i uh, going to just come around the corner because, yeah, I want to flank them while they move in on my main group, uh, on the main team. And this person is just getting shredded because they're out here by themselves, this Rigelgu. And they're getting attacked from uh, two different directions, so... Sometime, very soon, somebody on the enemy team is going to turn and come at me, especially now that my ranged attacks are... Ah! Wrist guns are back. Good. I may have time to get that regeld before it uh, can hit me, but... Nope, it has better saber range than I do with that double beam lance, so... Or beam naginata, or whatever it calls it specifically. Either way, it hit me. I did manage to kill it. I am not going to be able to kill this full armor... Uh, seventh before I die, but I am sure gonna make it remember me, so... And... Got the shot in, I think. Nope. If I had actually... If I'd been downhill and I'd hit the feet, I would have had it. Trying to get, uh, get enough damage in to stun again before I get killed, but I have so little health, and I am so out of shots that it's not gonna happen. So... But I managed to stay alive on 700 health for a decent amount of time, I would say, so... It's a good start, and... Yep, Full Armor 7th managed to get me back, and I'm pretty sure this is not the last time we meet in this round. So, we've managed to take all the points in the, uh, uh, in the center. Somebody said, let's sortie together, and I got very confused as to how together we were talking, because the only person that was on respawn when I first, uh, got ready, w uh, came in to try and protect point, uh, point one. And, yeah, I didn't realize that they were then waiting for everyone else to be ready to spawn in and jump in on my own, which doesn't work out very well. Frequently does not. I mean, very often does not. But I am going to go after this Nethys right now, because it's the first problem. And caught it. Uh, didn't quite catch it with the saber. I put my back to the rock, because I knew there was somebody else here, and I needed to be careful. So now I'm just going to uh, pull way back and end up fighting this Regelling again, which is going to tackle me, because I was... Pretty obvious after I missed that first swing. I thought I could sneak the downswing in, but it's not really sneaking when there it's a full-on frontal attack and you are just, uh, you know, diving into it. So, yeah. Okay, didn't quite get the kill shot in there, as, you know, frequently happens. Just waiting. Throwing some bullets out. Somebody else got the kill. 
Uh, number one has said support me. They just managed to get one of the three low health people surrounding them. We are getting close to uh, taking the lead. We have taken the lead and we may be able to keep it. And I'm just going to walk around this rock, take some damage and kill that person. So there we go. We have managed to clear out the square again and we are 1200 points ahead, which in a 550 room is not the world, but it's a start. And we are going to we are going to hopefully just hold here and wait, but yeah, I, uh, this is kind of where th uh, things get a little hairy. One, because there's support fire coming in. Two, because everybody was just uh, down repairing or whatever, so it was, it was kind of a mess for a second, as I recall. Or maybe it's not a mess and things continue to go well, but I'm pretty sure I remember dying not too long after this. Well, 1300 health says, uh, says I am probably correct. Managed to stun that Rigelgu, which is now, uh, which is now uh, being attacked by one of my allies. Trying to line up a shot on the 7th, didn't get that, and the Methus has got me in its sights and I am dead. Because yeah, the Methus, if the Methus can tag you, which I think I think it was the Methus that just hit me with its bazooka sub-weapon. Yeah, that's, that's a death. Yep, heavy Methus. I'd like to see a light Methus at a lower cost that just has the beam guns and the saber. I, I, I think that could be viable. Especially since, uh, I'd like to see it, uh, you know, you could uh, switch it to using double sabers, because the Methus has six of them, so it has like three in each leg, I think it is, something ridiculous like that, so yeah, that you could make a, you could make a lower cost raid Methus if you really wanted to, so I'd, I'd like to see that, but let's see, tried to get the Riga Z and just whiffed every single attack, and now somebody's shooting at me up there, so not not my uh, best moment here because I am getting beat up pretty hard and I'm dead in fact so yeah that that didn't work out but we're only 200 points down and there's a minute left so we can do something about that it was the methods again because it is doing a really good job of just sailing around being a counter raid uh, suit and yeah doing a fine job of it now we're okay we're back to almost in the lead so if I can get in there and hopefully kill something we'll be good uh, hopefully I will not be the only one doing so, but, you know, that's uh, that's where we'll start. And I'm in. There's the Methus. Kind of want to go for them. Well, I tagged them at least a little there and managed to knock down that Gundam beside. So I think, nope, they are ahead, but we're not done yet. And there is the seventh Gundam, which I am just trying to keep stunned and get killed. Halfway there. Well, no, got all the way there, but now we just need to kill something so that we can uh, win the round trying desperately to keep this Mark II pinned down, because if it can get a hold of me, it can probably kill me. But I got it. We're still not in the lead. It's going to uh, come down to somebody else, I think, managing that, because, yeah, this Regazi's got me. Dead to rights. Okay, time out. And, okay, this is the one I was thinking of yesterday, where we got the win at such a last second, I didn't even see the score uh, counter move. So, yeah, we just barely got it. 11, uh, 554 to 1155. I came in top score at 3,199, and let's see, uh, five kills and three deaths, 67,000 damage, not bad I don't think, so I uh, hope you liked it, Lightning, and that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2, we'll be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun, later! Yeah, the uh, other piece of uh, fan art that was sent along with the... Uh, uh, bunny suit one had uh, had the Gerbera in an outfit fairly similar to Katarina in the base camps, except no beret. Um, I could not get the color layout to work for that, so you know, luckily, luckily the bunny suit worked.